Hey guys, it's Angelo of Mechno Science, and today I'm going to teach you how to scratch with hydraulics with Stein Tube. So tune in. Before I start, let me explain first the tools that I'll be using for this tutorial. First, you can see that we have a pipe cutter here. This actually came from Wave model number HT501, and it's got a capacity from 3 to 28 mm diameter. Next, we have a caliper. And we're going to use this to measure the diameter of the styling tubes. Then we have a cement and we're going to use this to cement the materials later on. We have uh, a hobby knife here and we're going to use this to clean out some edges. I have a pin vise and we're going to use this uh, to make some uh, holes and I'll explain later why I have a, a, a lot of little bits here then a ruler a pen uh, that we're going to use as, as a marker and a nipper so this one is got hand uh, one to zero As for the materials, I'll be using this scale model slip styling item number 224, 226, and 227. And one of the reasons that I'll be using them because it makes things easier. Is most of the materials of the evergreen fits each other. So it will not be difficult for me to find materials that would actually help me building hydraulics. Here I have the tube side by side and we're going to work first with the thicker one which is item number 226 from Evergreen. Next, we're going to mark this styling tube around 2cm. And another mark around 3 mm then we're going to get our pipe cutter And just we're going to angle the blade right above the line. Then we're going to turn around the styling tube and just leave a mark. the material but we're not going to cut it through we're just going to leave a mark so as you can see I started first on the line inside instead of the other line that is pointing outward then next we're going to do the same but this time we're going to proceed to cut this styrene with the pipe cutter so just uh, again just align the blade of the pipe cutter on the line that we mark on the styling tube So in order to push the blade of the pipe cutter, you have to toggle this knob. Just turn it. And you will see that this part is pushing inwards and pushing the blade to cut through the styling. And there you go. So 
So let me explain first why I created two lines at the beginning and why I cut the other lines and I just leave a mark uh, on the other line which is on the inner side. So if I mark it with a pencil, As you can see, there is a line, and if I'm going to detail it later, this is much easier to do compared on building the hydraulics first, then creating the line uh, for additional detail. This also serves as an indicator on which side the smaller or the thinner tube will go in. So ideally this inner tube number 224 will go inside on this side like this. And as you can see we already have the base structure of the hydraulics that we're going to make. Now next one is we need to get the diameter of this material and one good thing about the Everglean that they actually indicated onto the uh, packaging but in case you're using a different material then you need a caliper to actually measure it and as you can see it's showing around 5 mm so much so 4, 4.8, 4.9, something like that. And why do you need to use a caliper instead of a ruler? Because it's quite difficult, in my opinion, to hold in the ruler and trying to measure it out. So sometimes if you're working uh, more parts, or you have a bigger material that you will use caliper is designed to measure that it gives you more accurate information so next I'll be working with the item number 227 and earlier we did measure item number 226 in terms of diameter and we found out that this is around 4.8 or 4.9 mm so on the item number 227 we're going to mark it as well uh, first I'm going to mark the edge around 3 mm next another 2 mm the next one will be around 4.9 mm then 2 mm so again this is 2 mm 4.9 and then 2 mm on this one we're just going to cut it out the reason for this because the materials uh, sometimes the edge is not that flat so we have to clean it out first So now it got a more flatter uh, end 
it makes it look more cleaner then we're going to proceed on cutting the other end So now, we're going to insert this and to this end. Next, we're going to use the pin dice and the bits. So first, use the thinnest one or the smallest one that you have. And we're just going to mark the middle. So let's make a hole at the middle next you move on the second uh, bigger bit and make the hole bigger then move on to the next one And again, just make the hole bigger. Now let me explain why you need to use uh, different size of bits. Ideally, uh, it is not necessary, but it makes things much more cleaner compared to um, doing it with a bigger bit you might end up breaking the plastic at the sides and you have to redo it again or you're going to need to use a putty to fill it out and it just add more problems later on so this one so let me explain why i'm going to use this one uh, ideally because The item number 226 have uh, 4.8 mm, and I don't have a drill bit that is exactly uh, the same size, so I'm going to use this one. This, I think, is like an engraving bit or an HSS a bit, and I'll just use this to make the hole wider Next, I'm going to use this to make the hole wider. So just take note of the size of the diameter that you need. Then using your hobby knife, you're going to clean out the inside.
Let's see if it fits. So okay, we need to widen it again. There we go. So just clean up the sides. So there is the other end of our hydraulic. Now we're going to get the thinnest item, which is the item number two to four, and we're just going to mark it uh, first on how long the other part is. So just go to mark it there. Then you can decide how long you want it but for this let's make it around 1.5 so that is uh, 1 cm and 5 mm so 1.5 uh, cm then we're going to use again our pipe cutter And we're just going to roll it out. As you can see, because this is quite thin, almost at the maximum or minimum capacity of the pipe cutter. I just mark it a little and just snap it. Then we fit it on the other side. And we're almost done. Now, what you can do on this side is that you could add more details or you could add more attachments to it. And for that, I'll be using uh, this. MSG from Kotobukiya, uh, item number P115, and I'll just get this uh, last part, the 6.0 diameter uh, circular detail. And I'll just put it right there. So, I'll just add some cement. Can adjust the direction of the detail before the cement dried out, and that's it. 
So this is a very simple uh, thing to do if you have the correct tools and materials. I could attach it here, add more details into it. Or you could add it on a weapon. To add more, you know, mechanical details instead of just a plain uh, material or plain detailing that you have right now, uh, as you can see. So you could use the same method that we did on this end to the other side. So it's like you have two, two, two pieces working together and it's up to your imagination how we're going to apply this. Uh, but as you can see, it's a very simple way on creating hydraulics or pistons that you could use for additional details on your kits. So as you can see, I didn't close this one out. The reason for this, because this is the side that you will attach on your kit or on, on your weapon or on your detailing. And this gives you more options uh, on attaching it instead of closing it out like this. And one good thing about this is, is that if you create two of this, you would know which one is for the right side and which one is for the left side. So take note of that uh, in terms of scratch building something and you have to make it identical. So despite being identical, you need to also identify which goes from which side. So that's how you create a hydraulics and or pistons using sliding tube. And that's it for the first YouTube tutorial. Now if you like the video and you want me to make more, make sure to click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Now you could also follow me on Facebook details below that you can get updated on the content projects that I'm working on. Now if you don't like the video, let me know in the comments so that I can include all the future tutorials that I'll be uploading. So thank you for watching, keep building, peace out.